Here is a stunning example of one man's trash becoming another man's treasure. A local man is making a six-figure salary digging through dumpsters. You might be wondering what he's finding that's worth that much. Our Chris Sobolski joins us with the story. Chris, this sounds a little too good to be true. How is this guy making more than $100,000 a year? Victor, it's just that simple. He's going to dumpsters behind big box stores. I'm right by a Staples and a Best Buy, and he's simply opening them up, looking inside and finding pretty much brand new things, and uh, he's making lots of money. Here's his story. I do actually see it. It may sound bad, smell questionable, and look interesting, but this is how Matt Malone makes money. I think you have to have an entrepreneurial spirit to make anything work that's not a nine to five. In this Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster, he found a mirror, vanity set, oh, I'll be damned. and parts for a Keurig, all things that he can turn into cash. Craigslist, Amazon, eBay, um, why do you want to buy something? Ugh. He searches behind big box stores, but there's a method to his madness. See, he targets businesses going through moves, inventory switches, or even mergers. Like right now, Staples, Office Max, Office Depot are all merging. Two stores can't exist in the same footprint, so what's going to happen to all that inventory? This is actually brand new. Last week, he found a bunch of toner cartridges. It cost me nothing, so it may cost you $200. It's not all fun and games. Scattered across Matt's desk is his real work. Social security number, driver's license checks, um, blank checks, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Matt is a security specialist. Basically, he makes sure companies aren't throwing out sensitive data. To find the leaks, he scours their trash and usually finds this. I mean, it's every kind of confidential data of employees as well as customers. I've started taking this one apart. Instead of using that information for sinister ends, Matt's turned plugging those leaks into a lucrative career. You can make money from anything. I mean, people who say that the economy is bad and you can't get a job, you can you might not be able to get one, but you can create one. He's a creative social engineer who's finding value in places you'd least expect it. Now, the first thing everybody asks me is, is this legal? And I'll tell you, it is legal. Back in 1988, the Supreme Court ruled that anything thrown into the trash becomes public domain. So Matt can search in any dumpster he wants, but he has a couple rules that he always tries to follow. If a, if a dumpster is locked, he won't go in it. If a dumpster is behind a fence, he won't go in it. That's because even though it is public domain, it's still on private property, and it's a little blurry line that he doesn't like to cross. So. As you can see in the package, this is a lot of fun, but Matt says you've got to stay safe. Don't ever get into a dumpster, even though he did for our cameras. He said there's just so much risk when you jump in that you could you know, cut your hands on glass or some rusty nails. So you've got to stay safe out there. For now, I'm Chris Sobolski for Time Warner Cable News.